Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm doing something I have not done in a very long time on this channel. So if you guys have been following me for a second, which I don't have that many subscribers, but the video did like, I think I have like 2,000 or 3,000 views on this video. I did a ColourPop concealer review and actually I was supposed to review the concealer and the setting powder when it came out the like and the foundation. Um, I actually have the foundation right here. I recorded films and everything. However, um, what had happened? Um, the files got incorrupt when I edited it and I was like, you know what, let me just let this go because I'm not the best at technology so when it gets corrupted I get very confused very fast. So, when I saw this launching I said, I have to review this. I said, girl, get your coin purses ready, save your money because I got paid last week, not this week. So, honey, I had to make sure I still had last week's money to get this week. So, <laughs> that's why there's no contour shade. I had to get the Fenty Beauty setting powder and concealer and to me this launched perfect timing because I've been complaining about my setting powder for a while I've been using the Colourpop one out of convenience I'm going to insert a clip of how this settles underneath my eye somewhere here this I hate that setting powder so much and it's too light for me I don't like like I like yellowy but I don't like that ashy yellow to me it's too ashy yellow and in fact in the setting powder I got honey not I think her ashier yellow shade is called banana or something like that i didn't get that which funny enough most people's ashy yellow shade is called banana i got 370 for the underneath the eye concealer because i don't like to go too bright the new makeup forever concealer as well however that this will have its own review slash wear test on another end shade 370 i only got one shade i didn't get the contour because i really want to try the makeup forever too as well and I didn't want to be throw. So speaking of the packaging, because I know people like that in reviews, she's cute. Like this is how the Fenty Beauty's other packaging is. It's really cute, really like chic, really like ooh, ooh, ooh. I like it. I like the pack. I love the wand on this concealer. When I was in Sephora and I was swatching the wand, when I tell you I lived for this concealer, I live for it. Like live for the wand on this concealer. Oh, I love the shade. Already, I love that shade. It's like the perfect amount of yellow. I love that. I love this color. 370, guys, if you look like you have my kind of weird skin tone it's always hard for me to find things i think you're gonna like 370 a lot it's a really pretty because so much work guys i love this color already like let's see what it looks like when it blends out oh my god that's actually perfect i wish i could put like my shape tape next to this because my shape tape is always just a little too light but the shade that i have just for reference i am tan deep sand tan deep sand i believe yeah tan deep sand and tart shape tape and in Too Faced, i got the butterscotch one and it's like i always think if i go a shade darker oh my god guys tell me that this is not freaking perfect tell me and you're lying you have to be lying like this shade is the right amount of highlight i love love it i don't know what the camera looks like guys i made the dumbest decision in my life um, it's honestly something I regret so much. I look back at time and I'm like, why did I do this? I decided to get the Sony A600, but it doesn't have a flip. And the guy told me that I'd be able to look at it on my phone. What he didn't say is that I could never look when it's recording. I could only look when the camera is like not recording, which is like kills the whole point of seeing what's on the camera. Next, I'm going to use this as a base for my concealer, as for my eyeshadow. I'm going to review the concealer as I would any other concealer, how I actually want to use it because... We could all be cute and kiki, but realistically speaking, I don't want 20 million different concealers to do 20 million different things. So I also want to see if this is good as an eyeshadow base. So I'm going to add a little bit on the eyes. Just a little goes a really long way. Just like two swipes, three swipes. And guys, if you are looking at my struggling eyelash extensions, you know where I'm going to remove them very, very soon. Okay. I like how um, thick this is for the eyeshadow base. I do like a thicker base when it comes to um, my eyeshadow. You guys, I love this. And this is not me just saying this because I know a lot of people think that Rihanna's like reviews. People just sit around and say that they love this thing over and over again because 
it's Rihanna. But I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I make my money, not Rihanna. So it's gonna be a beautiful base. It really evened everything out. I don't set my eyeshadow base. Um, but it evened everything out. It smoothed out great. Let's see how it does with the eyeshadow. So this part is probably just gonna be sped up. I'm probably not gonna talk because it's not a tutorial, it's a review. So <laughs> yeah. You guys have to have your bad bunny voice on. Y'all know the voice. Plus, so we'll pick it up later. So I'm just gonna again put this on how I would normally put on my concealer. I start over here, and normally I don't like to wing it out anymore over here. But since I'm gonna use this to kind of clean up that shadow line, I'll leave it just like this. Next, I flip over the side before I double dip because to me, when you double dip, you'll get a lot of product you don't really want to use. And I like this. This is like literally like two shades lighter than my actual skin. Like it's not super bright. I know some people love a super bright under eye. I personally don't because to me, I always just feel like I just look ashy. Like it doesn't make me feel like I look super bright. Maybe I haven't done it the correct way. Ooh, get that nose. Maybe I have not done it the correct way. But I always just don't like a super bright under a highlight on me. And I like to drag this out. That way it could be as even as possible. I hate when the highlighter looks like it's just sitting right underneath your eye. And guys, I know I said I was going to do a red look. And this is definitely not red. But we all know what happens once we start blending out the eyeshadow. Spray myself a Fix Plus because I always do that for all my concealers. Um, even if it's super creamy, I still like to spray myself with a Fix Plus at this step. So I'm just going to spray the Fix Plus. This is my favorite part of makeup. I feel like it looks so cute. The sponge now. I take the side that has the foundation on it already. I'm gonna blend this out. That looks really nice on my chin. Then I do my forehead. It's funny, I learned this. I blend out my concealer in the same steps as Aaliyah J because I learned my makeup from Aaliyah. <laughs> and literally, she used to do chin. Like she goes like this and then does under her eye like last. And it's funny because I I don't do everything that she does anymore. Like before, I used to do everything. Like I bought a lot of products because of her. <laughs> like a lot. But um, I don't do it anymore. But um, it's just, I, I always, I fuck. I'm not curse. I love this concealer, you guys. And this is no joke. Like the way it's blending out into my skin, it looks so beautiful. I think, I don't know if it's just the color or the consistency. To me, this is what's looks beautiful like to me on this concealer you guys see how far this drags out that means i put way too much if your concealer is dragging out this far that means that you're putting it on way too much product because concealer spreads so I put on way too much product. By the way, I'm using the Morphe Beauty Blender. I love it more than my Real Beauty Blender. I'm not a fan of the Real Beauty Blender anymore. I don't know why. Under the eye, this is just, she's performing everywhere. I love this. Honestly, I really. Okay, guys, so now I'm gonna open up my honey and use her, my honey. My baby, my honey. First off, guys, 
sickest packaging of a setting powder ever like honestly tell me a setting powder that has a cuter packaging than this and you're lying literally this has the best packaging i've ever seen on setting powder it's so freaking cute i love it so much so if you guys don't know i think honey is the third darkest shade like the third to last darkest shade because it goes the it's the first one which is like translucent then it's the banana then it's then it's no there's one before banana i think she's like six so it's a translucent then something then banana then um like a hazelnut or something like that it's one that it's like a it's lighter than this but it has like um a pinky hue to it which is what my black opal powder kind of looks like and i don't mind that that like pinky neutral hue underneath my eye i don't like i really don't but um I just preferred this yellow one. I don't know. So just so for anyone who doesn't know what the powder looks like, it looks like this color. I just take a little bit. I'm not very big into heavy using on powder, personally. It's not my look. And what I'm gonna do with this powder, cause I don't really like to bake at all. I just press out any like lines that were created. I'm gonna take this powder on my sponge, I love the smell. It kind of reminds me of the Sasha, which I used to use. But I haven't used the Sasha in such a long time. Then I'm going to take the side of the sponge and cut my contour. I love doing that to give myself like a slimmer treat. Other side, honey. Literally, that little bit of powder, it does everything. And if I show you, there's still some powder left. I'll be honest with you guys. As I'm sweeping off the powder on the sides, I'm not the biggest fan of the powder. I love the color, though. The color is really pretty. I'm going to see. Okay, the color is really, really pretty though, but. Oh, ew. Okay, hold on. I actually want to give this a chance. The sweeping powder face. Okay. So, now that I've slipped away all the powder, I love the color of the powder. I love the finish of the powder. I love it a lot. I think my issue with sweeping it off stems from the fact that I was trying to sweep it off and I applied it very unevenly. If you guys notice, like, I didn't apply the powder evenly, which is a big part of how your powder is going to set and how it wipes off. Is just how even you apply it so i think that was on me but the color it looks great it didn't sweep off any of the concealer it honestly looks really smooth really pretty i don't know if it might be too dark for the under eye because i feel like with the concealer color i chose plus the powder i feel like it's making it look very like kind of flat so i'm so i'm gonna use the milani brush in coral grove and yes i'm talking about other products just because you know sometimes you see a product that somebody used and you're like listen i know the video is not about that but sis i love your book please Wow, guys, I just looked at my camera and the because I had to delete some footage, it kept stopping. So, if it's choppy, that's why. And I just realized the last time I tried to film was November 15th. Like, damn, that was a long time ago because I got over the fact that I couldn't see myself very quickly. Like, I was like, girl, you got money. Oh, you got money. Okay. I don't know if this is all the way zoomed in or if it's not. So, guys, this is just the finished look for today's makeup. Honestly, this is just going to be it. Okay, guys, so this is the finished look for today. We're going to go to work, work our nine-hour shift. And mind you, my makeup is currently 922.
so my makeup is already finished and i probably won't get home tonight until like 8 30 so it's probably going to be like a 12 hour wear test honestly probably even more than that because i have to pick up my little sister from work today so um we're gonna get our full wear and i typically wear my makeup this long anyway because i have to do it early and then go on camera honey she is these little flyaways she's this is what we're not living for but on camera i'm really happy the eyeshadow i did today actually I feel like it lets the makeup shine, not me. Does that make sense? It's like it's like the eyeshadow's not overpowering the face. Guys, this is so freaking cute. Like I'm not even lying to you guys. I would do my makeup like this every day. And on camera, by the way, just a quick side note. I know I was saying I don't know if it's still like much of a highlight with the color I chose plus the powder on camera like this is as much highlight as i personally think i need i don't like a soup like i said i don't like it super bright i don't like it super white i like to just do one shade super super close okay guys so i will be back at lunch time okay guys so this is the final of today i'm going to take off my glasses in a second but just so you guys can see because i'm pretty sure you guys can still see my glasses i literally have no creasing the powder settled so nice and i'm leave my eye like look i'm like even stretching it like no creasing my eyeshadow is held up beautifully hasn't smudged hasn't moved my makeup looks amazing i've gotten so many compliments today on my makeup Hold on the flash 9 30 i've worn this officially for 12 hours and look at my mug y'all so if you're looking and i was in the heat today i was working hard and Tori takes a lot out of you so this concealer will hold you down for us hardworking girls in this miami heat if you guys don't know i do live in miami um so yeah so if you were thinking about buying this concealer i would definitely recommend it sorry for the clicking in my car i know that is so annoying because i'm about to like break it but I just want to end the video now. I maybe might do a check-in after my movie. After my movie, it will make like 15 hours of work. Because I'm not going to get home until like... My, I have to pick up my losses at 1230. It's like 30 minutes. I won't be home until 1. So if I am not lazy enough, I will do an ending. But just in case. So this is just a little update of how the makeup's looking. I still love it. Um, Yeah, best $26 I've ever spent. Especially on concealer. So I would definitely recommend it. Like for sure. Tarte, Shape Tape, none of them, can't soda. No, 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 no. I love everything, like literally love.